All right, day two, everything's ready to go. All right, this is the problem we left off with. Everything was good, pontoon super strong, can pick it up, swing it around. Um, one thing I didn't like was the bottom slats were pinching the middle really hard. So I came up with a solution. Um, I made this platform. So basically that raised small piece right here will slot in between those two slats right there. Boom. And this will be underneath the lip of the bin, cushioning it, spreading the force out. <sighs> Roll that big ass pontoon on its side. Let's take a look at what we got here. Boom. Slight adjustment piece to reduce that bending at the back and very front bin. So I made four of them, as you can see. And we're gonna put one there, there, and on the front and back of the other pontoon. And on the other side, got it in there. Sunny there, okay. So, as you can see, the spacer is splitting the bottom rails. You can look at the bottom edge that's from earlier when I was smashing it. It looks now to be a leaf. Now, I need to check the sides and the bottom. Okay, the bottom corner does not look to be bending badly, so and then the other side of the bin is contacting firmly and it's nice and sturdy, so I'm happy with it overall. All right, so I coupled together the bottom rails, as you can see, set all the bins on top, and now we're looking at tarp top rails straps. That's what's gonna happen over here in a second. We're getting ready. Got to couple together these to look like that. Um, yeah, cruising along. It's, uh, I will say this, it's going much, much faster than it did yesterday. Less than an hour in and I'm already way further ahead because I made, I knew what I was doing today. So yeah, awesome. All right, here is the pontoon in the shade. Two slats at the bottom, pretty close together with this uh, spacer platform, that's what I'm gonna call it, keeping the bin from getting smashed. My little tarp cover, the coupled rails laid out on top, spacers laid out. I need side rails, which I haven't assembled yet, and then straps, a strap in between each bin. And uh, this is going to look like this in a few seconds. And then I'm gonna have two of them. This is soon to look like this. When I have two of them, I'm gonna put those decks across and we're gonna have us a boat. Okay, we're finally done with the second pontoon. Once again, there are still, there's some excess at the front. Just snip it off later once you see that I don't need any don't have any use for it. Every joint is strapped. Notice how the straps are between the bins. If you strap it on the bin, you'll smash the side of it super hard. So here's another complete one. I had enough straps after I dug through everything to do every joint. The two ends and in between every single bin. I have just enough straps. Revitalized some, some old ones that were really in rough shape doused them in oil and now they work again. Brought them back from the dead for one purpose. So yeah, nice and strong. The plates, the, I don't know what to call those, compression plates, anti-compression plates are in position. This one's not in, this one's a little too far in. I don't wanna pull it out, but it's under some tight pressure, of course. Here's another compression plate in position. So yeah, we're ready to line these pontoons up and throw, attach them and throw a deck on. Oh man, such a beautiful sight. I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long. I've dreamed of it, now I'm looking at it, and it is humongous to be honest. 
This is so big. How am I going to move this? I need a better motor to move this thing. Okay, so the pontoon is finally all strapped up, the pontoons, and I've got the cross beams attached. And I'm going to show you how lightweight this is before you put the decking in. The decking adds some serious weight. Prior to the decking, I'm going to show you this is a 15 foot, 15 foot long boat. I'm going to show you how one person can not pick it up but lift it. It's not the lightest thing in the world. I'd say about a hundred pounds probably. I've been at, I've been going for four hours and we're still here and this is the second four hour day so I'm getting a little worried about actually being able to show up somewhere and assemble this on the shore and use it and disassemble it and get home all in one day as you can see this thing is freaking huge um, so here's uh, what I've got to work on next so I've got hose clamps, drilled holes and hose clamps that go that clamp the deck down to the cross beam. Now, when I first did this, I used a canoe. As you can see, that's misaligned. There should be a hole like right here and then the hose clamps run between those. Uh, so now I'm gonna use this paddle bit to put another hole right here, put this hose clamp, connect it, same thing over there. And I've got to do the same thing here and here. And then this is brand new and doesn't have any holes. This part is actually going to layer here. I don't know, I'll probably end up using that hole, drill a hole here. And then same thing, two holes and a hose clamp, two holes and a hose clamp. Okay, we're seeing if we can pick this thing up and possibly put it on a car in one piece. Let's see what happens. Ready? Okay, we're gonna show off some of the details. Alright, so hose clamps connecting. Uh, I had some different hose clamp connections earlier, probably put those to use somehow. Uh, here's a thinner piece, it's connected there, but it's not connected anywhere else. And I just put these kind of mini bracers underneath it. And uh, there's definitely a little give, but it's mostly solid. Uh, we picked it up, it went airborne without falling to pieces. It's taking a really, really long time to set this thing up, so I'm kind of worried. Maybe this is a situation where the boat is too big to be able to set it up on location. So we're trying to think of ways we can kind of minimize that. 
and perhaps one of them is having the pontoons already assembled. Uh, at least just the pontoons, and then you just assemble the cross beams and the decking on site. Um, there's some challenges with that, obviously, but yeah, the setup time is crazy long, so just kind of trying to brainstorm ways to um, take that time down. Okay, so beautiful end of the pontoon with the tied up tarp, the, pla the plate with the spacer down there, keeping the bottom from getting mashed. Now, you look at this one and you look at this one, the sides, and this one in particular, the sides are getting mashed in super hard by the side slats. You can see where the lid is, and you can see the lid and the wall and how hard it's getting smashed in. So what I want to do is build a piece that goes from here to here that braces that so it doesn't get smashed in so hard and keeps the tensegrity going. Threw in a cross piece there. Tried to have it slot around both sides but the outside broke because it's such a small piece. Did the same thing over here. Pulls the tarp down up against it very nicely. Just another little adaptation to the bin. The bin pontoons. What you see here are two oar shafts. And here are my oar locks, made out of just utility hooks. Basically this is what we want to happen. It may not happen, but this is what we hope will eventually happen. I don't know exactly. <laughs> the best way to do this, but I feel like they need to get shortened a little more. This one needs to get skinny though. Alright guys, it's been a long, long day of tinkering. Two days of tinkering. Got the sunset behind me. Uh, it took me two days to figure out how to, how to put the boat together. And that's making me worry that it's going to take at least three hours to build it when I get to a place that I want to use it. So I got to figure something else out. I'm kind of thinking, uh, take the deck and the cross pieces off and keep both the pontoons assembled. Maybe do that the night before you take a trip. Take the plywood, the boards, and then strap these uh, assembled pontoons to the top of your car. That way, when you get on site, it's uh, a lot quicker. So, that's my thinking. I made these oars out of kayak paddles. They are eight feet long. They seem a little bit too long, but I really won't know until I'm on the water. Uh, so, we'll keep them at eight feet, and if they're too long to use, I think they're actually, yeah, seven feet total. They end up being too long and cut them down. But other than that, I the boat is ready to go. Now I have to take it all apart and polyurethane everything. So that's probably all day tomorrow. And then the day after that, you could possibly uh, be ready for the water. So yeah, it's been, a, it's been a heck of a journey. I think building it from scratch on site, where, wherever I want to go and use it, might be too big of an order. I'm all done, I can take it completely apart down to uh, two sheets of plywood, a couple stacks of eight foot pieces of lumber, and a stack of 18 gallon bins that, that sits in the corner. So this boat breaks down to an incredibly small size. It's just that in order to get it to that size, it takes quite a long time and quite a lot of disassembly. So. Uh, in terms of using it, probably need to do some pre-assembly, get it to the site, and then you're good. But in terms of 
total breakdown in storage. Uh, very compact. I mean, that's 11. That's 11 feet long by four feet wide deck, which is pretty huge. Beautiful sunset. I'm running out of daylight. Well, I procrastinated. Look at that beautiful little crescent moon. Oh yeah, razor thin crescent moon. Procrastinated for a nice long time. Okay, I'm gonna leave the pontoons assembled and just stick them up against the side of my building. Successful day, got the boat fully assembled. Got an oar paddling system somewhat devised. And uh, yeah, ready to rock the next steps, which is polyurethaning and then actually getting this thing on the water and uh, going from there. All right. Ooh, my slat. Oh, oh, the end cap popped off. But it's so, it's still rock solid. The spacer is jammed in there. This is loose. The, the bin itself, even though this, I don't know how this popped off, maybe sliding or something like that. But the good news is, even though this happened, the pontoon is still totally rigid and the last bin is still totally stuck in and it's not like gonna fall out if the back thing pops off. So that's good news. The nice little bracer piece. Same thing there. Loving life, dude. One last pass by, late night. All right, let's see what we get done tomorrow.